Hi, I'm Executive Chef Cody Masters here today on behalf of Everson Spice, and we are going to be discussing new trends, innovation, and creative ways to approach produce merchandising. As we start to dig into the world of produce trends, it's very important to first recognize that we are in a very interesting day and age in regards to all of this. No longer is the food service restaurant industry sort of setting the tone or raising the bar, but instead retailers now are empowered and emboldened to take chances and push the limits on how you're going to present produce and innovation surrounding that to your consumer. At the end of the day, the name of the game in regards to all of this is value added. We are going to evaluate various ways in which you can introduce new value added methods into your produce area. And that is going to not only be flavors or ways in which you can use existing ingredients and create synergies interdepartmentally, but also innovations in consumer appliances. Behind me, you see something like an immersion circulator for a sous vide cooking bag method of preparation or oldie but goodie, still very present in today's modern kitchen. This is a combination of a slow cooker, pressure cooker, and air fryer. My challenge to all of you is go to your vendors and make them show you something new. It is our responsibility to be innovative and be creative in not just the blends we put in front of you, but also the naming mechanisms we choose to use to help you build out your items. For me personally, innovation starts with the mantra, you eat with your eyes before you eat with your mouth. In front of me, I have flavors like fire roasted pineapple and green chili, smoky blueberry and balsamic, citrusy mojo pimiente, buttery apple bourbon, peach maple bourbon. Incorporating fruit fusion, alcohol fusion into savory flavors is never going to get old. And that's what we have here today. And that's what's going to make your consumer want to come back for more. Now, how do we bring that all together? Two words, consumer participation. Let your consumer decide what they want to eat. Pre-packaging something like cauliflower or broccolini or baby potatoes is one easy way for your customer to take it home, throw in the oven, sous vide, choose their cooking method to best fit what they're working with on their side of things. Now you choose how you want to offer the flavor. It can be something as simple as a shaker, maybe add a little bit to a ramekin to let your customer take home so that they feel like they're a part of the process. You could build out compound butters. You could turn it into marinades. You could even take the flavor that you've decided upon and incorporate it into a stuffing blend like I have in front of me, which would be perfect for a stuffed acorn squash, zucchini, yellow squash, poblano, even mushrooms that I have back behind me. I also think it's very important to address one of the biggest variables that the produce section of any market is facing today, and that is plant-based to meet alternatives. Let me be very clear in my stance on this. They are not your friend. When defining strategy and competing with plant-based meat alternatives, turn to what you have in front of you. Take something like my flexitarian blend built on the back of an instant quinoa. I've incorporated the largest vegetable particulates and visuals I can find, as well as very creative flavors, a sriracha honey, a maple bourbon, a jalapeno and garlic, simple but effective. This can be hydrated and used as a stuffing on its own, incorporating whole grains, those vegetables marketed as a superfood, or as a means to create synergy with your meat department, you could also take this, blend it with ground beef, ground turkey, Turkey, ground chicken, and then use that in a plethora of ways across what you have available in your section of the market. Finally, let's not forget about fruit. Applying a simple seasoning of a zesty lemon ginger, a tropical citrus mojito, fire roasted pineapple green chili, maybe even something more savory like a Hawaiian mango barbecue or a bacon jam is a wonderful way that you can take something that people are already so receptive to and excited to eat just to that next level and continue to evoke that intrigue. I'm Executive Chef Cody Masters. I wanna thank you for your time and I truly wish you all the success as you build out this program and really excite your consumers. Thank you.